Can you get up here? Oh, shite! Uh... I think the answer to that question is yes. <laughs> he completely cold cocked us. Welcome back, everybody, to Fallout and uh, the Tale of Two Wastelands Overhaul with the Capital Punishment Mod List. I'm the Bearded OG, and we are back here uh, in the uh, museum section of the uh, uh, metro place. And what we're going to do is, uh, well, I want to do a couple of things. I want to go, uh, you know, check this museum area out here above ground, and we also... Uh, I want to go down through those tunnels there, too. Uh, if you didn't catch the last episode, we came from that direction. Um, and didn't really... I don't think we really did a whole lot in here. I do... Did we go up into here? I'm not sure if we did or not. I should probably... Put these on. And let's also... Get a weapon out just in case. All right, electron charge pack. And this, oh, wait, where does this go? Well, that goes to a place called the mall. I vaguely remember a place called the mall. Last time I played this game many, many years ago. Take all of this stuff. Beer, buff out, jet, and a sensor module. Okay. All right, so that goes... Exit. Okay, that goes to the mall. Where does this place go? Museum of American History. Oh shit. Fuck. I barely saw him there. Take that, that, a lever action shotgun. Interesting. We'll take that. Well, what the hell, we'll take all of it. Then we'll just get heavy again because that's what we do. Bunch of dead rad roaches. All right, where does this go? That also goes to the mall. Okay. Gotcha. Probably not going to be... There's almost never anything in these bathrooms. Every once in a while, I'll find something in the stall, but... Yeah. Not worth it, really worth my time. We will take the Mintats, though. I guess we can take the junk food to sell. It's the one time that I don't check the bathrooms that there'll be like a really nice new rifle or something in there. But as long as I check them, it won't be in there. <laughs> All right, so yeah, let's go. Uh, let's go down into this tunnel, right? Yeah, and just see what's down here, and then we'll go back and check out the mall. I thought I saw a guy walking down here earlier too, so let's be stealthy. Oh, look at that, right there. Throwing hatchet that's in like in perfect condition. All right. Doesn't look like you can go any further that direction.
All right, let's go see where this room goes. There's a pool table in here. And a dead raider. Grognak the Barbarian. I think that gives us... Uh, doesn't that give us strength? Oh no, melee weapons. Okay. We'll take that. Got some beds. Don't... What the hell is that? Sounds like a feral ghoul. What's that do? Oh shit! Look at this! Take that. Twelve gauge rounds, nice. Door to Metro Central. Uh all right, I don't I don't think I want to leave quite yet. So we'll just we'll keep this place in mind. Let's finish checking out the tunnel first. Oh, I see somebody over there. Marksman Carbine. I don't know if I've ever seen one of those. What's that? Oh, wow. Look at this thing. So it's like a sniper. Huh. All right. Interesting weapon. How, how much is it worth? Eh, it's not worth a ton. Nothing like our marine carbine with all those mods on it. It does, uh, does 130 DPS though. Wow. I wonder, uh, I wonder what it would do if we fixed it up at some point. We could use the marine carbine to fix it up, but I don't think I would do that though. Interesting. Okay. It's uh it's definitely a a sniping weapon because it's way too shaky for normal use. We could maybe, you know, keep it as a backup sniper, I guess. I don't know, we'll see. Uh we'll take and yeah, we'll take all that. Not going to take a sledgehammer. We'll definitely take that liquid nitrogen. It's got a good VW. And 
Nails conductor sensor module. All right, well, looks like that's it then for the tunnel. I don't think we need a plunger. Okay, um, so we've got Metro Central, and we've got, oh, we're in Cumber now. We've got the museum and the mall, or the mall. I guess what we could do is just take a quick look at Metro Central. But, you know, now that we're in cupboard again, <laughs> uh, story of my life, right? I might have to make another run back to Rivet City, but if I do that, I'll do I'll completely do that off camera because we've already been to Rivet City a bunch of times. All right, let's do a save here just in case we crash and see what happens. I keep seeing these signs about going to the mall. It's like the game wants us to go to the mall. I hear a dog panting. Oh shit. Oh shit. There's more of them. Damn. Okay. I don't think I'm going to loot that stuff. It's just not worth that much. Where does this go? Can't open it. How much is dog hide worth? It's got a VW of four. Yeah, I don't think so. two of them. What the hell? <laughs> that was funny. Killed by the barrel. Watch out for that barrel, man. That thing's dangerous. Oh. That was a wastelander. Where's the ghoul at? Oh, shit. It's radiated back here. 
Uh, oh, there it is. A blue pass card. See somebody walking around up there. Gunfire. Okay, we have a caution. Northbound to DuPont Station. Combat's damn nice. Alright, we had uh, the gunfire sounded like southbound to Museum Station. Wait, we were just at museum station. I guess we did come this way from a different route, though. Let's go down this tunnel to see if we can determine what that gunfire was. I see a feral walking around down there. I see two ferals walking around. I see three ferals. This weapon's not super good for sniping because I can't I can't hold my breath to hold it still. Okay, let's go back to you. Hard to see with the gun smoke, and it's it's made even worse by the night vision. Okay, he just went in the other room there. Take that.
I see radiation over there. One thing that that could mean is a glowing one. And those guys are bad. Choo choo. DuPont. Southbound Metro Central. Where'd that guy go? Oh, right there. All right, there's another. Oh, these are bandits. Or, uh, not bandits, raiders. I like how they say kick ass after they're dead. I'll take a med kit. Chinese machine pistol. What's this? Just a normal assault rifle. Two of them. Oh, yeah, look at all this stuff. That's some nice loot. Very nice. Okay, where does this go? DuPont Circle. Okay, once again, let's do a save before we go outside the door. In case we crash. What the hell? We just had like a feral ghoul explode as soon as we went out the door. Is this guy, what is this guy down here? A bad guy or a good guy? Is, eh, is that a bandit? Or a raider? Yeah, it is a raider. Ooh. Frag mine. I wonder if there was a mine right by that door and when we opened it, it, it blew. Maybe that's what happened. Oh, shit. Look at that. That would have dropped a grenade a bouquet on our head. Oh man, that one other one's really close. X. Ooh. Hit the wrong button. <laughs> that was close. Okay. I don't think I can disarm this. Wait, okay, we need an explosive skill of 45. So let's trigger it, just so we don't run into it later. Okay. All right, watch for mines. Spread grenades. Okay, I think that's it. I 
activate utility gate. Oh, we're going into a cave. That's interesting. Whereabouts are we on the map, by the way? Oh. That still shows us near Anacostia. Okay. Well, let's just keep looking. And here's uh, some raiders. Oh, damn! That's a that's a turret. There's a shit ton of raiders in here. Go this way. Oh shit. I'm out of action points. AKA stamina. We should probably fix ourselves up a bit. Let's take an antiseptic and a couple of those and a bandage. Go back this way. We really shouldn't be doing this encumbered. But I mean, I spend half of my life encumbered. So if we followed that, I wouldn't get a damn thing done. You know what I'm saying? Is that turret? Point no need to hide. Oh. It'll all be over soon. Oh, there's radiation here. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. some landmines to work for us. <clears throat> I'm just a little bit concerned about that ceiling mounted. Promise a quick death. Why don't you come around the corner, lady? Alright, let's uh let's go here. And then let's do this. If we hear another explosion, we know they're coming. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, it's definitely pointed this way. Hmm. If you take out its light, does it disable it? Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay. It's good to know. Let's see if we can take this guy out, or gal, or... Oh, what is she running for? Okay, he's not ar uh, heavily armored. She's not heavily armored. It looks like all of these guys can be normal, normal bullets. do this as well. Okay. Ha! Ah. 
How in the hell are they not hearing that? Okay, let's wait a second, see if he comes over this way. These guys aren't very bright. This is not a silenced sniper rifle. <laughs> It's not like they can't hear it. A defense submachine gun. Huh. Okay. It's a light bolt 9mm. Got a lot of shit. A 44 pistol? Where did, when did I loot that? Oh, cool. That's like a Desert Eagle. Um, my Snake Lord does a hell of a lot more damage, though. Interesting. What was that I was saying earlier about, don't forget there might be more of those around? Shit. Whew, okay, that was close. Um, let's do a stim pack and a blood pack and a, let's see how much that gets us back. Quite a bit, actually. Nice. Okay, yeah, so let's be on the lookout for more of those. Just kind of watching the ceiling now. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Ah! He's probably the guy that we kept seeing the caution from. Easy ammunition box. We picked 50 locks and we got some kind of an achievement that I couldn't see. Oh, keys are for cowards. Pick 50 locks. There we go. Cat eye. Medics. Stim packs. Jet. All kinds of drugs. That's a pretty decent little stash there. Man, these these underground metros are quite extensive.
Off gauge rounds. Can I shoot through here? <laughs> nope. Should be able to. Okay. Ah! Nothing in that box there. Easy ammo box. Whiskey. Medical brace. It's kind of heavy, but not that that matters at this point. So we came out that door. Let's go this way. Metro access employees only. Um, oh, wait. Yeah, I think that's where this is new. Getting a little turned around now. No, this is the way we came, because we we looted all this stuff, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, I just realized... I've been wearing my trading outfit this whole time and not my normal armor. But that's par for the course for me. It's exactly what you guys have come to expect from me. Right? Am I right? Alright, so that's the way we need to go. We just don't have any damn action points. Metro Axis. See a super mutant. Okay. Let's grab. Get our armor piercing ammo in this weapon. What we're gonna do is we're gonna throw a frag at him and then run like hell back down that way. Make sure we have full action points first though. How about if we do a quick save right here too because this <laughs> may not go very well for us. Got one. Must have killed him. It said we crippled his torso. Okay, so that's two down. We'll take that. 
that and that. What the hell, I guess we'll take the dog meat too. And the baseball bat. It's one of those let the robot go free rooms. Door to collapsed car tunnel. Okay. This is DuPont Circle. Okay, we're gonna poke our head out there again just to see where it, where it is on the map. And we're going to save again first, in case we crash. Alright, let's see what happens. Oh my god! Look how, my, how far underground we've traveled. That's crazy. That's that Dukov's place. Uh, I don't think I don't think there's a vendor at GNR, is there? Wow, we traveled a long distance underground because this is where we initially entered. I wonder if um, if we went back to like the uh, the mall place, if that. Isn't the mall where the monument is, though? Now that I think about it? Anchorage Memorial. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. Well, let me think about this for a minute. I mean, we are about halfway between Rivet City and home at this point. So I could theoretically just go home, get fixed up, sell everything, do the usual. And then I could come back to DuPont Station and go back underground back to where the mall was and then went, and then meet uh, and then start the recording at that point. We have a little bit more time left in this episode. And uh, because, you know, we got a lot of stuff to do. In, in these three locations. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Okay, so I will meet you guys back in the metro um, at one of those The Mall exits. And of course, as usual, if anything super crazy happens between now and then, I will capture it on camera. That goes into the collapsed tar uh, car tunnel. All right, guys, I am back, and uh, we are ready to go out to the mall. Um, long story short, there was uh, I was not able to get out of DuPont Station and get out of the city. Uh, you'd think by looking at this map, we could have just walked directly west and, you know, been right at the Anchorage Memorial, but it unfortunately doesn't work that way. Um, so I kind of wandered around, uh, you know, because it's just like a maze downtown, and you can only go where the game wants you to go. 
and I ended up, you know, ultimately getting killed by some super mutants. So I just ends, I just loaded the game back up at DuPont and then went back through the tunnels uh, back down to Rivet City uh, to sell and rest and repair and all that sort of thing. So we're in pretty good shape. We do have a bit of, a, of radiation, but that's not necessarily a bad thing for limb repair. Um, I currently now have 1142 caps after selling all that stuff. We are in good condition um, pretty much as far as the, you know, the rest of our, our stats goes and our weapons and everything is are, are in good repair. Okay, let's go and check out the mall. I think we can probably take these off for now. All right, so. There's Super Mutant over that way. Oh, there's one right there, too. Yikes, okay. They're all over the place. Let's look at the map here real quick. Oh, we're right at the Museum of Technology. Okay. Um, is that... That's where we need to get the dish, I think. To do... Galaxy News Radio. Find the Museum of Technology. All right, so let's see here. Oh, it's just right over that way. Okay. I'm wondering if we should try and deal with these muties first, though. Let's go ahead and put a, a frag down here. And we're going to get this guy out. There was one... Oh, yeah, there's one right there. Okay, we got him on the alert. I don't know where that danger is coming from, so let's get away from our frag mine. Well, make sure these are armor piercing. I are right no here. Ah. Oh, we just leveled. Okay, nice. Take that. We'll take that. That and those. All right, there's this uh, mutant way over that way, and he's still on the alert. So let's do this again. Beautiful. Armor piercing rounds are the way to go, baby, for these guys. Pick that up. All right, let's go over there and loot that guy and check, make sure there's nobody else around. Oh, we just got a caution. Did we kill him? We must have. In fact, he may have been the first guy we killed. Why do we have a caution, though? Don't like it when... Don't know where the enemy is. Oh, up there. 
Okay. Uh, this is not a good spot to be. So let's just stay low and move away. Oh, look at this place. That's crazy. There's a door down there. place, aren't they? There's one patrolling down there. Question is, are there any? Oh, yep. I was gonna say, are there any more patrolling down here? Looks like there may be. Ah, it was nothing. Yeah, it was nothing, dude. Move along. Nothing to see here. Damn those noises. Game's over. You're just a melee guy. Can you get up here? Oh, shite. Uh, I think the answer to that question is yes. <laughs> he completely cold cocked us. Wow. Okay. That hurt. All right, let's quit fucking around with these super mutants. Let's just get into the museum. Uh, except for we just got his attention. Damn it, Jim. Setting us with a bumper sword. Ow. Okay. Oh, you know what? Let's take these off altogether. Make sure we got our armor on. Yeah, let's just get into the museum. You have discovered the Museum of Technology. Okay. Um, why don't we take a stim pack and a bandage? Let's get our health back up because we got thumped pretty good there. They're super mutants. He's probably going to spot me. 
I could throw a frag, but yeah, see, there's gonna, there's more than one of them around. Okay, let's move around here. Get out of the light. What's he doing? It's a terminal over there. Okay. Let's go ahead and throw that down there. That guy seems to be stuck up there, so. Can't believe they don't hear that. This other dude. I think he pats back there and then comes back out this way. I don't know where he's gone, though. Okay, let's pick that up. So we're looking for the dish off of one of the Apollo space module thingies. Research leads terminal. Yeah, I think the oldest is at the bottom. Can someone please fix this planetarium projection system? The automated system that was just installed is prone to malfunctions at least once a week. We've had to interrupt the programming more times than I care to remember and end up taking over manually. I suggest we remove the system and bring back the human element so the audience will feel more engaged. Okay, so he doesn't like the automated system. I'd like to lodge a formal complaint regarding the firearms exhibition that's planned for temporary display in Atrium. With the world tensions the way they are right now, I feel it's highly inappropriate to glorify these killing devices by promoting them as a tourist attraction. If this is some sort of patriotic gesture, then it is entirely lost upon me, and I urge you to rethink this decision. This is just a quick rundown of acquisitions we have been awarded for the 27, uh, for 2078. If any of these interest you, please stop by and see me so we can discuss it or submit a standard research request before the cutoff date. All submissions must be made by October 2nd, 2077, so now it's time to get them. Supersonic Airliner, Zach's Computer Prototype, Original Model T-45D Armor Power Suit, our Power Armor Suit, and the Laser Pistol Prototype. Our new addition to the Space Flight Gallery, the Virgo 2 Lunar Lander, that's what we're after, is now open to the general public and ready for viewing. I want to extend a hearty thank you and a job well done to the entire research and restoration team for pulling that pile of junk out, out of mothballs and putting it in such fine shape. Many sleepless nights were spent on this project, and as a small token of our thanks, you will find a substantial bonus in your next paycheck. Give each other a pat on the back. You've earned it. The virus that has been plaguing our archetype model FF06 mainframe due to an unknown attack has finally been localized by our research team and identified. After a complete cleanup on the mainframe's core, I am happy to announce that the infection has been removed. The soul of this machine has improved. Okay. Uh, so the space flight gallery, 
Burger 2 Lunar Lander is what we're after. All right, maybe we better put these back on. We're going to have some really bright spots, though, but it's otherwise pretty damn dark. What is this? That's a stealth boy. Activate Robco Stealth Boy 3001 description. This is the Robco Stealth Boy Model 3001 personal stealth device. Developed by Robert Mayflower, the Stealth Boy generates a modulating field of trance. It's a reflected light from one side of an object to the other, making the bearer almost invisible to the untrained eye. Okay. Whoa. Wow, this thing has massive motion blur. When it's in thermal mode there. At least I think that's what that is, is thermal mode. Is he there? Oh, yeah, he is right there. I couldn't tell if I was looking at him on this side of the wall or on the other side of the wall. All right, so I think we've eliminated the two threats in this front room. We got the guy up on the balcony, too. None of these terminals seem to be active. There's a... Here, before we go upstairs... We got information. Planetarium Gigantamax tickets... Here are the jigs. I finally found a good place to ditch your share of the loot. It was he it was hell getting here, but I made it. I left the usual breadcrumbs all over some of the info terminals in this place. Their computer se security was a joke. Complete the sequence and you're home free. But making mistakes in the system will lock you out. We'll meet up in the usual spot later. Good luck. Prime. Hmm. Okay. All right, just pause the screen if you guys want to read this. Colonoscopy. <laughs> oh, that's... <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> that's like a... You know, going to the... Oh, the... Um, Jesus, why can't I think of it? Cinemax, you know, the, the big theaters. Only this one is a journey into... Uh, of a colonoscopy. That is just hilarious. You have a Vault Tech uh, uh, exhibit. Power Armor Oppenheimer's Folly. Spaceflight exhibit. That's the one we're interested in. G Force Simulator ride. Cool. Um, again, uh, I'll just click on these other ones really quick. Just pause the screen if you want to read them. Okay. Let's go back here real quick. I uh yeah, here. We got to take these off. All 
I hear some music playing. So I might I might have to turn the game sound off when I edit this. At least I thought I heard some music playing. That's just another way upstairs. Okay. Man, what's with all the stealth boys? Not complaining, but... How long do those things last, I wonder? I've got quite a few of them now. Maybe we should try one. Museum information. Okay, that's probably going to be the same thing that we've already done. Atrium Vault Tour. Yeah, I, I'm hearing the music again. Vault Tech welcomes you to our new line of subterranean vaults featuring our patented Triple S technology. Um, okay. Triple S technology oh. is Vault Tech's convergence of the three most important parts of apocalyptic endurance safety, survivability, and sanitation. Okay. Sleep in quiet comfort, knowing that our impenetrable vault doors can withstand a direct hit by an atomic bomb with only a projected 2% failure rate. 2% failure rate? That's actually pretty good. Keep out hot part of tour, or not part of tour. We're going to run into something Smile scary in here. Got you down. Smile. Our simu sun lighting mimics the feeling of being outside with only a fraction of the sunburn potential. Simu sun lighting? Whoa! That was crazy. Or don't be. Step into our Entertainatron room and watch the latest holotapes, or perhaps listen the to a goat. symphony. Another Vault Tech innovation. This is kind of cool, actually. Moms will love how our Culinator 3000 kitchen system makes cooking a breeze. Mmm, I can smell the muffins baking now. It's crazy. Concerns about security? Our eye on you cameras enable the vault's leader to watch your every move. You'll never be alone again. <laughs> right. The overseer. Should the unlikely event arise that the planet is laid to waste, you'll feel happy knowing your family will be safe in a vault tech vault. That was kind of fun. <laughs> we hope you've enjoyed our tour today. If you have any further questions, please take a brochure from our helpful Vault Tech guides. That's what we want for Go Two. I don't re even I don't remember this at all from the last time I played this game. That you know, that doesn't mean uh, it wasn't there because obviously it was. I just don't remember it. We uh, we couldn't really get anywhere going that way, could we? Okay, let's do a save before we change cells. All right, I want to turn this off. That's the Delta 9 exhibit. I 
That's interesting. Virgo's that way. I'm kind of curious what Delta 9 is, though. Is that a rocket or something? Yeah, it's a rocket. Oh, there's a muty down there. There's one up there, too. Okay, let's do this. Wait, wait a minute. We can... Activate the rocket? No. Seriously? Uh. You know we gotta try that, right? Let's just turn lights off and on. 2020. Last of the manned rockets that was sent our brave American astronauts to the moon. It's developed by USSA scientists? What's USSA? I don't know. When it said activate, I thought it meant, like, actually <laughs> turn the ignition on. Okay, let's go back to plan A. Yeah, I can't really get a good headshot from here. All right, what about, what about the guy down here? That's a good headshot. Let's wait a second. Oh, here we go. All right, that takes care of the guy up above. But I think there's another one. Yep, there is one down there. Okay. He went to... Uh, into that room back there. Right. That eliminates him. There might have been another one up above. I'm not sure. That's just the same thing, right? Yeah. Oh, this does have other clues, though, huh? I don't know. I'm I'm not really in the mood for a puzzle. Where does this go?
Oh, that's where we need to go. Got to do it. A guy up there. All right. Let's let's keep our current mines down because that's a place we can retreat to if we need to. And in fact, let's put one right here too. Oh, he's right there. Okay, I don't know if the... Okay, the guy up above is there. not hit our other mine. That's weird. I guess he just barely missed it. Okay. Anybody else in here? Planetarium. Can't get past that point there. It looks like all this is going to be blocked off over here as well. Okay, so we need to get this dish right here. Take the Virgo 2 dish. Okay, we got it. Um, how heavy is that thing? Oh, there's my seeds. Only weighs one pound, really? Okay. All right. Well, we got the dish. The next step, of course, is to go to the Washington Monument. See what's at the end of this hall. Oh, this is the planetarium. Cool. What if there's any way to activate it? Be kind of neat. I thought that was going to happen. <laughs> All right. I had a feeling that was probably going to happen while I, I started watching this space show there. Okay. 
All right, I'm gonna grab uh, my other frag mines that we left behind here. We got one right here. I don't, did we all? Did we even go all the way up here? I think we did, didn't we? Oh no, we didn't. We missed out on some Nuka Cola. Take the scrap metal. Can't get in there. Pork and beans. Yeah, that's not going to blow up, is it? <laughs> as history has been recorded, man has had an insatiable hunger okay. for knowledge regarding the universe. To understand why man... Stop the show? Uh-uh. ...and is so interested in this unknown expanse of space around our little world... Take the wrench in the water. Journey. Please, sit back, relax, and free yourself from the bonds of our planet as we take off for the... The stars. Okay, let's go this way. Crashed plane. Oh, this is the other side of that that same room, I think. Yeah. Okay. Take the whiskey. Far out space facts. All right. Pause the screen to read these. I'm going to go through them quickly. That's crazy. Okay. Far out space facts. Let's go up this way. That goes to the atrium. Oh, we already came through here. Right. Okay. This is just the other side. Is there a way to get down there without breaking my leg? Just like that. All right. I think we're finished here in the museum. That was fun. Um. Also, we're going to need to wrap up this episode here. So uh, we will pick up right where we left off in the next episode, and we will head over to the Washington Monument and uh, get this dish set up for three dogs. So thanks, everybody, for watching. hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. We'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.